Hi there, everyone. My name is Eric Richards, and I run a real estate brokerage in Colorado Springs called Springs Houses Online Realty. Should you buy a home right now with interest rates being where they're at, with the uncertainty in the economy, and everyone cheering for some sort of major pullback in housing prices? I figured I would present a controversial topic and we could talk about it. Those of you who know me and have worked with me in the past, you'll appreciate the idea that I've said, if you're not ready to buy, rent a home. If you're only gonna be here for one or two years, rent a home. If you don't wanna become an accidental landlord, rent a home. The amount of information that is out there on the internet to inform your decision is more than I could possibly share in this video. I'd like to just provide a little bit of perspective on what I think in terms of analytically approaching this decision, should you buy or rent. Right now, according to numerous websites that are out there, the average rental rate in Colorado Springs is $1,566. That's obviously taking into account the apartment complexes, condos, and townhomes, which usually rent for less money. When I strip those smaller homes out and include just single families, that rate rises closer to $2,100. Oh my goodness. When I started in real estate, it was uh, closer to about a thousand bucks for a house and maybe even less, especially in security wide field. I remember writing up leases for uh, when I did property management that were about $800 a month. We've come a long way since then. So should you buy a home? Right now, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market and people want to know kind of like how a business makes a decision on how they're going to spend money on capital uh, improvements in the business is this gonna be a good return on my investment? Only you can decide that. $2,100 a month in terms of a monthly rental rate compared to what it costs to finance the average cost of a $500,000 home, uh, see the number flashing on your screen right there, is, is a big difference. And that should help inform your decision. What do you get with rental? Uh, you get the security knowing that a landlord will hopefully fix the things that go wrong in the home, that it is a typically a one to two year uh, choice on where you're gonna spend your money. There's no return on investment with a rental. Uh, you can't even write off a home office in a rental. There's also the factor that you may have problems stabilizing in that neighborhood. What if that landlord decides to sell? There's some uncertainty, but it feels obviously less certain um, when, when you think about it from comparing rent to ownership because ownership right now is what am I gonna find? what is available out there? What is it going to cost me? I know that homeowner's insurance changes from home to home. I know that property taxes change from home to home. I know the interest rates change week over week. In fact, Barron's News just released a report right before I filmed this video on Yahoo Finance that mortgage rates are yet again creeping up close to 7%. So why buy? Well, think back to that video I did with Jarrett Rogers about uh, buy down programs. These are wildly successful. And yes, sellers are willing to give up those concessions in order to uh, get you to write an offer on their home. You get to decorate the home however you want. This isn't financial, but it is a big part of the buying psychology. I've had to learn to accept this fact that a lot of people uh, aren't into buying a home because of the finances. They're into it because of the emotional appeal. They want to raise a family there. They want to put down roots in a community. They want to be closer to their school, to their work, and they want to have some sense of permanency. Or perhaps they really are just into design and decorating and being able to put blue paint on the walls where the property manager says no is important to them. These are things that matter when people make buying decisions. How about from a financial standpoint? There's the mortgage interest tax deduction, the fact that you can uh, you know, take advantage of the home office deduction. Obviously, consult the CPA. I'm not a licensed CPA. I just know this stuff from reading it online on these public websites and the advantages of that. How about the fact that when you live in a home that you own, you're paying your mortgage. You're not paying someone else's mortgage when you rent a place. This is an age-old argument. And I hear a lot of people say, well, that's just realtor talk but it's true, it really is. You're paying a mortgage, so it might as well be yours. One final fact that I will leave with you as you digest this information is there will become a time where rates drop back down. Rates have always been cyclical. And if you are doing okay financially and you want to buy a home, you can take the plunge now, absorb a higher payment, 
or maybe take advantage of one of the rate buy down programs. And then you can refinance the rate down the road. I recently met with a big builder in Colorado Springs and they are offering free refinances at any point in the next two years post-closing. That is wild to me. They're basically saying that for the price of their homes, which aren't inexpensive, that they're going to fork over maybe ten dollars to $15,000 to refinance you into a lower rate. Wow. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I look forward to reading each and every one of them.